हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट then what are the insulin regimens in the insulin regimens we have two insulin regimens one we have split mixed regimen and second we have basal bolus regimen okay first split mixed regimen in split mixed regimen we give two insulins types of insulins are combined together in a particular ratio like for example we can combine regular insulin with nph insulin is given in the ratio of 50 to 50 or we can even combine regular insulin with nph insulin can be combined in the ratio of 30 to 30 is to 70 ratio okay so this is regular split mixed regimen so the advantage of split, splitting this is daily only two injections will be required that is at the before breakfast and before dinner these two injections are given before breakfast and before dinner one important thing is this right regular insulin is a short acting insulin he so here if you see the regular insulin is a short acting insulin whereas this nph is a intermediate acting insulin so as a result regular insulin is if you if the patient takes two injections before breakfast first and foremost regular insulin will be released resulting in um, faster uh, which will decrease the post prandial uh, hypoglyce hyperglycemia post prandial hyperglycemia is decreased by regular insulin and the maintenance of the glucose levels is done by intermediate type of insulin which is nph insulin so as a result it has a because there are only two injections it has better compliance the patient takes it properly and the disadvantage is because of using this short acting and intermediate insulin it might result in poor glycemic control in certain patients but and one more important thing is there is immediate even this is short acting this is intermediate so both of them are around released in a 6 to 12 hours this is this shorter acting insulin is actually regular insulin which is released in 4 hours peak peak is at 4 hours and duration in 8 hours whereas nph is 6 to 12 hours and 18 to 24 hours it was reported that it has immediate post lunch hyperglycemia is present and after lunch uh, there is a few hours after lunch there is late post prandial hypoglycemia is seen immediately after eating the hyperglycemic complication is seen and a few min a few hours after eating hypoglycemia occurs because of action of short acting and intermediate acting together so this is split mixed regimen we have one more regimen which is called as basal bolus regimen now in the basal bolus regimen we use long acting glargain is given and this glargain is given once daily it is long acting and it is long acting glargain is given once daily along with that we give rapid acting lispro or aspart is given and this rapid acting lispro or aspart is given before every meal so that means it is multiple dosages it is given in multiple dosages so because here this actually if you see the glargain this glargain is actually long acting and this pro and as part are rapid acting so as a result the rapid acting means it acts in almost 1.5 hours it peaks whereas long acting glargain it peaks in around uh, it, it acts for around 18 to 24 hours so as a result if you give because this glargain will be present for 24 hours once a day do dosing is sufficient whereas if lispro and aspart because it is rapid acting so before every meal after every meal if before every meal if you give if we give this last lispart or aspro sorry lispro and aspart this will decrease the post prandial blood glucose levels so as a result the main advantage it is it has better glycemic control and this has more physiological pattern because even in our body a bolus of insulin will be released immediately after eating and after that 
slowly the amount of insulin decreases and slowly a maintenance dose of insulin is released in our body throughout the day so it has more physiological pattern but the main disadvantage of this uh, bolus basal bolus regimen is you will see that there is multiple daily injections are seen with poor compliance and this basal bolus regimen is actually preferred in young in young individuals whereas this split mixed regimen it is actually preferred in elderly Thank you and thank you for watching.